What's up, guys? Once again, this is John from Second City Toys. Today's story review is going to be none other than this bad boy right here. This is the guy that pretty much broke the mescal site when this guy went out for pre-order. So, it was a little frustrating to get a hold of, but we made it happen with only three. I was trying to get more, but three is good enough. But anyways, man, let's get right into it. We have the 112 Collective San Diego Comic Con exclusive Special Ops The Punisher. Here we go. Now, let's start wasting any more time. Let's get straight into this packaging, you guys. Here on the front, we have that big skull, the big Punisher skull. We have the Punisher down here. We have Marvel right here. We have 112 Collective right here. And then we have the most important exclusive stamp from Mesco right there. On the side here, we have the Punisher logo here. The Punisher 112 Collective. On the other side, it's pretty much the same thing. On the top here, we still say 112 Collective. And in the back, we have a nice silhouette picture of the Punisher. This is really, really good. I really like this. Hope you guys like this as well. But anyways, man, enough with the talking. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see why that side crashed. Let's take a quick look here at the Punisher. Here we go. What's up, guys? So here you have him straight out the box looking phenomenal as f This guy looks unbelievable. He looks really good. Oh, man, hold on. Hold on. Oh, man, that smells really well. Oh, that smells really good. Jeez. That smells like brand new plastic, if you know what I mean. Man, hit the like if I'm the only one that does that. I mean, I know you guys have to do that, right? It's like, fuck. Like, it's so good, man. So, if you do it, man, hit that like down at the bottom. Let me know if you guys do that. Let me know how many of you guys actually sniff your action figures when they're brand new. So, let me know on the like button down there. But anyways, man, here you have them looking super good, super swole, special ops as f***. And let's take a closer look at him real quick. Check that out, man. Let's look at that body. Damn, he looks good, man. That looks really solid. So, let's go ahead, man, real quick. Let's get the accessories out of the way, and then we'll move on to him last. So, accessories first. First things first, let's start off with the weapons. Here's the first weapon we have here, you guys. So, here we have the actual, look at that, that little rocket launcher. Look how badass that looks. That looks really good. Look at the detail on that. Man, Mesco does not play around with this detail stuff, man. Look at all that. That looks great. Look at that. Wow. I like the way that the metal is kind of coming through the black paint. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's there. So this is the rocket launcher, man. It looks really good. I think it would look better if it came with a rocket, right? I think that would look pretty nice. Right, Mesco? Throw us, throw us a rocket next time, Mesco. It's all good. Now, the mini gun. This bad boy we've seen on the Hot Toys Netflix um, action figure or the figure. But this guy looks fantastic, man. The paint apps look really good, like the metal. It's also seeping through the black there. Looks really nice, really well detailed. Look how gorgeous that looks, man. Come on, like you're not gonna want the mini gun in your collection, you guys. Let's get into this, man. Let's give let's get some mescos. Look at that. That is great, man. That is great work. Alright, so that's the mini gun rocket launcher. Alright, put these to the side. Now, this is the strap of bullets or the ammunition for the actual minigun. Looks really good. See, really well detailed. I like that. The silver on it looks really good. Even like the little taint of gold there looks really good. I like it. Looks fantastic. All right. Now, here we have the Uzi with a silencer. Which is pretty stealthy, if you know what I mean. Check that out. The same thing with this, man. I think. Let me see. 
No, there's no metal coming out through the suppressor there. It's all black, which is nice. All black, which is gorgeous. But we've seen the minigun before. This time it just has the suppressor on it, which looks really good. Here we hold the grenade launcher. This bad boy looks really good as well. Grenade launcher, I'm a real big fan of because once again, you have that metal coming through the black paint, which makes it look fantastic, real realistic. The scope looks really nice. The grip looks really good. Man, how do you not want to collect these mascos, man? Look at that. That looks amazing. All right. We have a magazine here for, or a clip for the Uzi. Every gun has a clip, but I didn't feel like taking all the clips out. They were really small, and I don't want to drop one and lose it. And here we have a little pistol, which looks really nice. Does it clock back? No, it does not, but there's a clip in here, too. You know how Mesco works. They're always putting clips in here. I can't take mine out. But why would they give me an extra clip if this one doesn't even want to come out? I could be wrong. I don't think I got a clip for this. Maybe this stays in there. Let me know in the comments if you know if this stays in there. I'm pretty sure it does. I thought I saw a clip there, but it could have been for something else. But here is a little pistol. And that looks pretty good. Nice. All right. Here is the little small little grenade for the grenade launcher. It has a red tip. That's what she said. And kind of like silverish down here at the bottom. I don't know if you'll be able to tell that, but it's a little silverish. He came with four. Oh, four of these little little baby grenades. He came with four of these, which is pretty cool. Little Deadpool grenades, as I like to call them, because I think Deadpool came out with these first. But I could be wrong. But these are four. And then we have the tactical knife here with a silver tip, which is always nice. The grip, it's really well sculpted. Man, look at that. That looks really good. Really, really good. All right. Now, this is what makes the effects super legit we have the muzzle of the actual firing of the guns i believe this is for the mini gun this is a three and one you attach this to it and you go to town and then you have two little extra singles that came with it which are not bad we can always use some of these things. Once again, I know I'm always complaining, but the what's the Sam Wilson didn't come with one with the flashes, which is fine. All right, let's go on to the figure here. We have the first face sculpt. Which is the original. We all seen this in all the previous um, Punisher figures. It's the same one. Hasn't changed. Sculpting looks really good. But you all seen that. Here's the other one. Which is another familiar one. The one with the more awesome expression. This is my favorite one with all the Mesco Punishers. Great expression. But you've seen the face before again. It's the same face. Nothing has changed. So that's all good. And here we have the one we bought this figure for. Boom. That. It's a great looking mask. Check that out. It has all this scratches on the actual helmet, which looks pretty nice. Look at that. Look at that profile, man. That looks sick right there. I like how deep the eyes go in, but even the eyes have good detail. I'm not sure if you're able to tell, but they're there. 
Doesn't give it no justice to video, man. You got to hold it up closer to your face. Look at all that. That's really nice. The hair. And then you got the straps for the mask. That looks amazing. Good. Let's go. You're doing it. All right. Let's put this back on the Punisher. There we go. Look at that. You know what? Let's take, I want to take a closer look for you guys at the actual suit. The suit is not like fabric. Well, you know, like the clothing that you he usually comes with. But it's more skin tight. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like scuba diving suits. That's what that, this reminds me of. But let's get a closer look here. So you guys can take a look here at the texture. Let's see if I can get a... Good. See that? That looks really good. Look at the pads. That looks really good. We've seen the belt, previous Mescos. Look at that. Even the back right here. That is really well detailed. The pads up here look really good. We've seen the gloves. They came in with every other Mesco. This is new. The skull in the middle is new. But let me give you a closer look here because it, it feels and it looks like a different material. See? Looks really nice though. That's really good. So... So the same with the other Mescos, man. I'm not going to go over articulation because it's the same body for the rest of the other Mescos that came with him. I just wanted to show you guys how awesome he looks, how great he looks. Also, he came with a nice little duffel bag. Has a Velcro here, like a regular duffel bag would. And... That's a nice little zipper there. And then you can just toss all your weapons in there. Let's do that now. Let's toss all the weapons. Make it nice and fluffy. You can always put like tissue to make it nice and fluffy. Add like one weapon or so in there to give it that is fully loaded, fully stacked with weapons. So you can always give it, you know, some type of look, which always looks really good. There you have it. Look in real good. Right, like he has a job to do. But this damn minigun, too damn big. But there he has it. Looks really good. Damn, mini gun keeps falling out. But anyways, guys, man, that is it for this review. Just wanted to make it real quick. I know there's a bunch of videos out there, man, but man, this this figure looks amazing. So last time, I know you guys are gonna talk about how I didn't show the hands. So <laughs> real quick, he comes with two open slash kind of grippy hands i call these the the boob grabbers because that's what they look like it comes with two of these it's pretty good and he also comes with two nice little trigger fingers left and right we've seen the gloves man they came with the other muscles so you know what's going on and he came with one relaxed hand. This is pretty much the nice relaxed hand they got, which is pretty nice. And then he came with his karate chop hand, like the palm strike hand, which is pretty cool. The judo chop hand. So that's it, man. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys got yours. Um, I think. I'm going to do a giveaway for one of these bad boys on my Instagram. So 
If you're not following me on Instagram, you might miss out on one of these bad boys. So, thanks a lot, guys. I hope you guys liked this review. I know it was short. I know it was to the point. But that's pretty much how it's supposed to be, right? Let's see what you want to see. You want to see what you're going to get yourself into. So, that was it. I love it. I'm glad I got three. I might do a giveaway for one and just keep two. Check out my Instagram, man, for further details, future notices, and all that good jazz. So, that's it, guys. I hope you like this review. Once again, this is John from Second City Toys, and I'm out. Peace!